Hey, my real estate friends, in order to get the most use and effectiveness out of Facebook ads, you need to know the different settings to select so that you're not just throwing your money in the air and saying, bye bye. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step in Ads Manager and showing you the settings that you should click and you should not click to get the most out of your money and get you the most leads possible. Hey, I'm Sean Bell and I am a social media coach for the Wolfpack at eXp Realty. And I'm also the founder of the Realtors Blueprint, which helps realtors bring in nonstop leads through Facebook ads and also have those leads automatically nurtured for them. So let's go to the computer, show you Ads Manager and show you where you need to click and not click to get the best results. All right, let's dive in and show you some essential Facebook ad uh, features that are gonna get you the best results when running your ads. So first thing you wanna do is go on the back end through Ads Manager. I've done prior videos on this. I talk a lot about this. You can go watch my couple of videos I did before this one where I show you step-by-step -step on how to set up an effective Facebook ad. So you may wanna go watch that. It'll give you a good breakdown. Um, and you can watch that after you, of course, watch this video so you can understand. But the features that are gonna help you the best, so we're gonna go through the back end. Let's pretend we're creating a new ad and we want leads. We've covered this all the time. Like I said, after this video, go watch it and you're gonna understand what I'm saying. So instead of hitting recommend settings, you wanna hit manual leads campaign. This is where we can kind of create those couple touches that's gonna get us better results versus letting Facebook do it for us. Cause Facebook might, if we do that, might just kind of spend our money willy nilly and not get us the results we want. So we wanna be a little more specific. So one thing is do not mess with these. You're a proper AB test. We're gonna create different ads to see what works best. I find if you do this create AB test with Facebook and you have two ads in there, for whatever reason, it's gonna put more focus on one of those ads and it's gonna spend way more money. Like one ad might get like 50 bucks spent on it and the other one might get five. Well, that's not a proper A-B test in my opinion. So in order to do a proper A-B test, we create a new ad, let it run for a week, then create a different one, let it run for a week, or create two different ones, let them run simultaneously so they're getting the same amount of money spent on them. Whereas if you do this, I find Facebook does not do that. Facebook tries to sell you on a lot of these features. One of them is the ad campaign budget. Don't click it. We know where it, we get the best results. So that's what I'm sharing with you here today. So do not click that. Obviously, when you're setting up an ad, you do have to select housing for the special ad category. Again, there was a prior video I did one or two ago here. Go watch that and that explains to you how to do this properly and do proper targeting. All right, so those two we're gonna leave off. You want to select instant forms. Uh, don't worry about this performance goal type of stuff. Dynamic creative, do not worry about. See, as you can see, there's a lot of features that Facebook's trying to get you to do that's just gonna suck more of your money. We're not gonna do it. Budget, I recommend anywhere between 10 to $20 a day to see decent results. Another little tip, don't select an end date because if you select an end date and you get an ad that's performing good and all of a sudden it ends, you're like, shoot, why did that happen? Why did I do that? Might as well just let it run. So I like to leave the end date blank, but do go in, continue to monitor. Because if you aren't getting good results after say a week, I do recommend, that's another tip, let it run for a minimum of one week. Because over time, Facebook gets smarter it starts to realize who's resonating with your ad and who's responding to it. And it'll try to show it to more people like that. And usually in a few days time, it that's not enough time for Facebook to figure that out. Even a week's not enough time, but you start to get a bit better of an idea after a week. So if it isn't performing good, you can come back into the ads manager here and you could turn it off. Otherwise, let it run. Uh, budget scheduling, do not worry about any of this. Ignore it, skip it. Uh, audience, you're going to put in where you want to show your ad to. You know that. You can go watch my prior videos. Like I said, it'll show you how to do that. Now, placements. This is automatically selected on and it kind of sells you on it saying, hey, we'll deliver you the best experience. So usually you keep going. Don't. Click on edit. Come in here and go manual placements. You're going to turn these off. You'll see as I do this. And all we want is the Facebook and if you're running on Instagram feeds. So let's go into feeds and even these ones we're going to turn off because we just want the feed itself. So we don't even want the profile feed. There we go. So just the Facebook feed and Instagram feed and all the tens of thousands of dollars I've spent and from listening and learning from marketers that have spent millions on Facebook ads still to this day, they get the best results from the feed. So just select 
those two. That's where your money is going to be most maximized. Then when we go to set up the ad, let's see what we've got in here. You're going to want to put in uh, an image. So I talk a lot about this. Again, go watch those, you know, last few videos that I've done. The image is what's going to grab attention. I talk about like different neighborhoods and the photos you do. This is the most important part of your ad. So please go watch those videos. That's going to break it down for you and tell you exactly why I do what I do and how to, again, maximize the dollars that you spend. You're gonna create a form, because I did select in some forms, so in there you're gonna ask for people's name, phone number, and email address. Again, go watch the prior video, that shows you how to do that. And that's it, so as you can see, there's a lot of extras in there that Facebook tries to get you to click to make it easier for you, but it'll just spend more of your money. So take the extra time, go through these, uncheck them, do the manual setup like I just showed you, and you are going to get better results. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options in Facebook Ads Manager. It can be confusing at times, and a lot of times you just wanna click on it because Facebook recommends it. But just because they recommend it does not necessarily mean it's the best mm. avenue for you. So I hope this really helped out. You can click those proper options and you're gonna get even better results than what you had before. If you are wanting some Facebook ads that you can run and test this all out, then make sure to comment with Facebook ads and I will send you my free guide of my top five Facebook ads that generated me 268 leads in just seven days. And as always, if this video was a benefit, make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and also hit the bell to be notified of when I post future videos on Facebook ads. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you have fun with this, bring yourself in a ton of leads. If you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, until the next video, I hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.